Hello Aries and welcome to your financial reading for August of 2022. Hope that you're all doing well. A few months ago I had, uh, did a poll on my community center there where I always post stuff and wanted to know what are the readings that you guys wanted more and a lot of you asked for financial reading, readings. So here I am with uh, the financial readings. So anywhere that you have Aries in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, look at your rising moon, Venus. And for those of you on a purpose or mission or on your spiritual path, uh, go look at your north node. In the reading, take what's yours, Aries, and let the rest go. Okay? Uh, don't force the reading. In, you know, there's, just go with the flow with it. You'll know what resonates with you. Also, feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. Cuspers are coming in. Both readings would be good if you watch both of them so you can get more of an insight what's happening for you. Also, take note, I could be talking to a cross-watcher as someone that's coming in to check and uh, to see what, what is going on with you. And, of course, it's not in a negative part. Maybe they just want to see, okay? And, of course, remember that this is a general reading. So, we're going to start off with the affirmations. Affirmations are so important in everyday life, especially if you're trying to be positive about things. You could write them down to, uh, in the comments below, if you like, or you could put them in a notepad. And um, I always start my readings with affirmations, so you could gather a lot of them and then make you up your own as well as you go along. So let's see here, Aries, uh, what is your affirmation? Sharing of yourself. So there's a time of sharing, okay? Um, it may be in your life experiences that you've been through, uh, just a time where maybe you need to share your own experiences with, with others, uh, which maybe uh, some of you may be helping other people by sharing uh, your ex your experiences. And so um, your um, affirmation is, I am incredibly generous being. I am an incredibly generous being. I am an, in I am an incredibly generous being. And so it is. Now we're gonna look also at the theme. What is the theme for you? Uh, or could be also a challenge, okay? Let me just take out my cards. Here they are. So, let's see what's going on. This could pertain, let's say, uh, if you're with a partner in your finances, in a job, in a career, uh, you know, I'm going to stick to the financial part of it. Though it's hard for me sometimes because I'm going to go into other parts of it, but I can't. There will be other videos anyways of uh, uh, what I used to do on the weeklies, but on a monthly basis, okay? Also, check out that I'll be doing a full moon uh, uh, in Aquarius uh, reading, and it will be on my other channel. So it's, uh, for those of you that don't know the other channel, it's called... Bianco Nera 1111 Tarot. So it's B-I-A-N-C-O together N, capital N-E-R-A 1111 Tarot. Please check it out because I do not want you to miss any of the readings that are coming in for you. Okay, let's see here. So it's reversed. Okay, so this is a new beginnings. This is the full card. So it's not, some of you are not taking a leap of faith in the situation right now. We're going to see why. Okay, and um, you're, you're taking steps towards your goal, whatever it is, but not a leap of faith. Okay, we are not ready yet for some reason. Let's see what is, uh, I'm going to take out a cosmic guidance card to see what else. There's a few cards that came out for you. You need to speak up, speak up. Use your voice, uh, Aries, to express yourself. Sharing of yourself, it's, it's almost like the same type of energy here, okay? And also, you got head, okay? So a lot this time, a lot of you are in your head about a situation, you're probably overthinking about it, uh, you're doing a lot of mental notes, and it's about logic and evalu evaluation. Okay, so logic and evaluation is also here for you. So I'm going to put this up, speak up, and share of yourself. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Here we go. I already pre-shuffled the cards, so I'm going to start. Why? That was too many cards coming out. <laughs> okay, but the, the one did fall on the ground. 
And the one that fell on the ground is the Queen of Swords. So some of you, like the logic card came out. So you got the Queen of Swords in energy, all right? So if you are thinking logically about your next step here, um, there's a lot of wisdom. You're fair, you're honest. Uh, you're also able to see anything that comes your way that, um, you know, you, like you have this like discerned energy that you don't trust everything that comes to you. Um, but you're thinking logically, that's definite. Okay, so let's see, this is the recent past till now, and this is you in energy. What's going on here? Okay, you also have the five of wands in energy. So there could be a lot of disagreements around you at this time. Maybe you're in conflict. There could be uh, just a competition, drama. Okay, there's something that's happening here. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups reversed, which shows that there's unhappiness at this time. Um, you're not feeling contented or happy. And next, you've got the Nine of Swords. You're worried about something here. Definitely, there's a lot of worry. You're not sleeping at night. And, you know, worry is a waste of energy. But there is a, there is a breakthrough that's taking place here, okay? A breaking point that's happening with the Nine of Swords. So I'm just going to leave it here for now. Now, the second one could be about uh, the person you're dealing with in business. It could be a husband, a wife, uh, it could be a family situation or a situation. But uh, let's look at the other persons or the other uh, people maybe that you're dealing with in energy. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands. This could also be you. Like if, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, if it doesn't pertain to anybody else, it could be you. So the Queen of Wands is coming out. You also got the Nine of Cups reversed. There is a wish fulfillment that's going to be filled here for you. So right now, it's like there's a lot of passion here and uh, logic, okay? Um, also, like, you emerged here, I feel, um, to someone that has a lot of self-confidence in themselves. Okay, uh, there's a lot of determination of what you want here. And you're a type of person that... You usually get what you want. So let's see. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups reversed. You got the Page of Swords. Okay. Let me see this card here for a second. Did I count the wrong cards? Okay, Seven of Cups. Sorry, this is a Seven of Cups reversed, not the Ten of Cups. Okay, so there's no confusion about something. There's something that you're seeing right clearly into in the first row. I'm sorry about that. I thought it was the Ten of Cups because I saw the castle. You got the Page of Swords and you got the Ten of Cups. There, there's happiness here, contentment, feeling happy. I also see like there's stableness in the home here or in the, in the business. <clears throat> Let's look at the third row and the overall in energy. Why? Got the eight of cups and energy. The page of wands reversed. The king of cups. You got two cards. You got the page of pentacles and you got the two of pentacles. So you're trying to bring something into balance here. Or you could be multitasking, or you have two jobs, okay? Or like you're being pulled in two different directions. Uh, there is definitely an offer coming in, definitely here, okay? There could be a loan, money, a job, an opportunity that's coming in for you. So we're going to put this here. Now we're going to look at the possible outcome. Now, if you're dealing with another person or situations or people, the outcome cannot be predicted by anybody because um, there's free will. But if it's only about you yourself, it all depends on you, okay, for the possible outcome. You got the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is coming in with clarity. There is a breakthrough in the truth here, okay? So definitely with the Ace of Swords, it's very good in energy. And it's also about holding the vision. It's about holding the vision here. And in the overall, you got, I have to show you the cards. 
There's three cards that came out for you. You got the devil reversed, the wheel reversed, and three of wands reversed. Um, there's resistance here because a lot of you are scared of change or there's some type of change that has to take place or transformation. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed because uh, there is a delay for Jupiter to come in. And some of you are like uh, resisting uh, what's coming up for you. Your manifestations or whatever it is, maybe some of you, it's about your future. There's a lot of like energy in that way. Okay, so I do have Scorpio and energy here. So we're going to put these cards right here so you can see them. All right. And uh, now we're going to clarify the cards. Okay. Uh, what cards am I going to use to clarify? Okay, so we're going to clarify the first row. Um, if you do like these type of readings, the financial readings, uh, you know, just let me know, like, if I can continue with them or not. Uh, you know, I want to continue with them, but, you know, I, I really, for me, what's important is that, uh, you, you know, you, you appreciate, not that, I know that you appreciate, but that you really like the readings, like these type of readings. Okay, so let's look at the Queen of Swords here. Some of you might be walking away from uh, something because it's not in divine timing, probably, or something that's not really passionate to you. Uh, there could be someone walking away from that. But I want to see here uh, what else is going on. So let's look at the Queen of Swords. judgment so yes you're thinking logically you're in your head about some a situation here because you even have it here with your head okay you're you're evaluating something here and there is a judgment that has to take place here uh, i feel like you have to do a judgment okay uh, on a, a particular situation that's why you're in the queen of swords energy let's look at the five of wands Five of Wands is with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Someone here is not moving forward at this time because there's a lot of drama, competition, disagreements, could be conflict within you in the situation here. So um, maybe there's a, the offer is not coming in yet or this is you not being able to move forward in a situation you're not even planning here. Let's look at the Seven of Cups reversed. For some of you, I feel like you're in your head too much about the situation. Could be. Let's look at the Seven of Cups reversed here for you. You got the Seven of Cups upright. So um, I feel that there's times that you're feeling uh, like you know what you're doing in terms of evaluating things and how you want things to be. And then there's times that you're daydreaming and of all, uh, or you're fantasizing about all your goals or whatever that you truly want here. But there's also sometimes a sense of confusion that takes place for you. And that's why I feel like some of you might be overthinking about something here and worrying about something. Let's look at the Nine of Swords in the first row. Well, you're going to get the clarity that you need, okay? That's why the judgment is there. There's some type of breakthrough here. Uh, it's about holding that vision uh, being in focus but there is communication coming in and a breakthrough and the truth so there is something that definitely the judgment card comes through with the ace of swords let's look at the queen of wands this is the phoenix rising from the ashes queen of wands usually goes after what she wants to but uh it's more in the sense like they're she uh, she or he in energy are very persistent okay well, okay and they're able to like attain whatever they go after uh, there's definitely um, a sense of like, a, you know, like a, a sense of uh, someone that's really, really outgoing and they're very truthful in energy. There is with the page of pentacles here and you've got it twice in the reading. There is an offer coming in. Could be a job, could be a loan for some of you, money coming in. But there's definitely something coming in here for you. Okay, uh, that's it's nice to see that. Now let's look at the nine of cups. 
reversed. Because there is a wish fulfillment that's being granted here. So let's see what this is all about. Two of uh, wands reversed and nine of cups upright. So definitely there is a wish fulfillment here, material fulfillment that's coming in for you. Okay, and uh, there's something that's going to happen where where you let's say you were making plans. Sorry, I'm just picking up the cards on the floor. <laughs> <coughs> so with the two of wands, the nine of cups, and the five of pentacles reversed. You've been making plans out there. You've been going out there. You're making progress. You're making decisions. Maybe something in the before held you back from moving forward. But definitely here you are going to be moving forward because if there was financial loss or lost money and you didn't make money or you felt like, you know, no one provided for you in a situation, something is returning to you. So there's something that's returning to you, okay, with the Page of Pentacles. Now, with the Page of Swords, there could be some type of communication. Maybe someone watching you online and your product or what you're doing. And uh, they're going to be very curious about what kind of work you do or whatever it is here. Uh, there is some type of communication that's going to take place. But it's also your creative ideas that are going to flow through as well, okay? So there is, there is going to be some type of communication here. And uh, it's about your manifestations. And you're leaving something behind. It's like uh, the world is your oyster here. It definitely, it's a, there's a blank canvas here. It's about success. Um, you know, you could, uh, now you could move forward. And, uh, you know, some of you uh, could be like, uh, there's opportunities overseas or, anyways, it's a three of ones is a very, it's a card of success here. Okay, that's coming in for you. Now let's look at the 10 of cups. Ten of, uh, ten of cups, you got the seven of pentacles. Yes, uh, you're doing a review or you're over your, like of uh, your money, how you spent it or how you're saving it here. And, um, you know, you, you put a lot of hard work in a situation here. And I feel that it's going to pay off because there is a there is growth in the situation. But they're asking you to be patient here because some of you might be at crossroads, right? Um, because of this offer that's coming in. Now, I want to look at this Eight of Cups and Energy. Some of you are walking away from what I want to see. Walking away from maybe a, a, a time in the past where things were difficult. Moving on from that, going towards your Ninth and Ten of Cups, which you do have the Ten, ten of Cups here. Yes, so uh, you're getting, uh, from walking away from how you used to perceive things, how you used to see things before, or whatever situation you had to go through in the past, the Divine is coming in. Uh, with stability there is money that's being I mean that's going to be coming in here for you there is this offer that's coming in is stable okay there is a new financial opportunity that's taking place for you why is the page of ones reversed yes yeah, so, so you are releasing the fears you're releasing okay so this is going to make you uh, not worry about a situation anymore with the nine of wands reversed there's a lot of completions that you're going through here Okay, and yes, definitely um, a sense of like, um, you're maybe not feeling like totally excited about it, like maybe not like and something that you feel is not really in divine timing. So some of you uh, might be dealing with a Virgo, if that's the case, okay, if you're not dealing with a Virgo in business or in partnership here, and if you are it actually, uh, are actually, there's a, just a sense of relief here, not being worried about a situation any longer. But for others of you, I just want to take an extra card here. This card wanted to come out. You've been waiting for something, something that you've been sacrificing for to gain clarity on. Maybe some of you are going inward at this time and uh, withdrawing and really following your own path here. You are uh, guided. You're being, yeah, you are guided here. And it also talks about where you're reflecting a lot in this in in the situation here because are you going to stay or are you going to walk away from this because the eight of cups is there right so the king of cups it talks about um, you know it's about the balance between the mind and the heart and energy this is someone that's very practical and uh, logical uh, but they value family a lot as well uh, but they're, they don't express themselves um, in the way that maybe you would like them to express themselves. So let's look at this King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups in energy? The Page of Source. Like I said, there is some type of communication that's going to be coming in. Um, 
Yeah, definitely here. And it's about a, a lot of ideas that are going to take place here. If you had a creative block or something blocking you in creating new things, I do see that something is going to change here. And uh, let's look at the Page of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. You got the Chariot. Justice reversed. Um, definitely here, what I'm being shown is that some of you feel that something is not in balance here. Um, but you are trying to bring something in balance. I feel like you are in this offer that's coming in. Uh, could, you know, some of you might be buying a new vehicle. Or yes, or, you know, some of you feel that things are not just in your life or you feel that uh, something is not in balance here or there's no fairness. But I do see someone here finding a, finding their direction, taking control, taking their power back here. Definitely, definitely here. Um, it's very positive, the chariot in energy. Now let's look at the Ace of Swords, which that is, uh, another, you got it twice in the reading. There is a breakthrough here, okay? Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Now some cards fell out, I didn't take them because I did not call out for them. Now I'm calling out for them. Ace, why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. The <laughs> same cards came out. Wow. That's like hilarious. <laughs> I put them back and they came back. These cards, I, they came out before and they, I put them back in the deck and they came back out. So I had to show it. Someone here is holding on to something very tightly. A lot of people are here. Someone is holding on to money or assets or uh, a home very tightly here. They're not wanting to let go, you know. Um, Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, someone here is not in their element. There could have been a lot of interventions or, or, or a lot of... Did I say interventions? No. Um, not interventions, sorry. Well, maybe intervention. There could be an intervention, but... Um, there was like a lot of meddling with other people around the situation. Something was something here, someone did not get recognized or rewarded for a situation here. Um, someone here is not feeling that successful or something that probably did not succeed. And with the Queen of Swords reverse, someone here was uh, very angry and blocked. But the Ace of Swords comes in <coughs> as clarity. So there will be clarity in the situation. Now I want to clarify the death reversed, the three of wands reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed. So let's look at this together and see what comes out. Well, I also got uh, with the, the death reversed, the three of wands and the wheel of fortune reversed. I got the six of pentacles reversed with the nine of swords. Something is still not in balance for someone. Someone is feeling here that something is not in balance or they're not going to receive the money or receive something that is coming to them. But abundance is around you. Okay, it is. Okay, it's here definitely. Uh, there is abundance. But someone is feeling that, that this is not going to happen or that something, they feel like that uh, this delay is, not, is never going to take place. Uh, that this delay is never going to end of, uh, you know, of uh, Jupiter coming in and, giving you that i feel here there's a free will on someone's part here um i really feel here that someone is uh, still um whatever this is someone here is uh, still uh, undergoing a lot of uh healing or they're in the not saying they're you could be dealing with someone in your family or in a situation when it comes to money or something with stability here uh that is going through the dark night of the soul Okay, and I, I, you know, someone here released energy from a situation here. Okay, not not putting energy into uh, drama or fighting or conflict or uh, there is triumph in the situation here. But at the same time, it's like there was a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict, and someone removed their energy completely. I don't know who this message is for, but this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Aries. Don't forget to comment, like, and share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all and uh, we are one. Please take care. Bye.